always happy with them. Oh, Pam were going to come this morning, bless her, but she's like around 30, so I'm assuming she only sent me a message. I only sent her a message back about 10 minutes ago, so I don't actually get it. So just take it nice and easy. So just really kind of moving into that knee. For four, for three, for two, for one, and then over for eight, for seven, for six. I don't know why it counts. It's not like you can't count, is it? <laughs> three, two, and just hold it on this next one. And just reach, take a breath in. Yeah, Ruth's normally on Debs, which is Isabel, you know, the dentist, but she's um, she's just texted me, she's full of cold, my friend Jenny's can't come, and I'm just supposed to be on, so I don't know why she's not. Sometimes she sleeps in. Oh, I can't fault her. And then back to centre, and then just, so go easy, Debs, in this one, just pull your shoulder blades together, create that little stretch through the front of the chest and then just do the opposite so around your back and almost feel like you're pushing your breastbone in and then again push your breastbone up um, I feel great because I've just done a mobilisation one to one with someone so I, I feel all good this morning and then just go easy Deb so don't force it so when the back's tight, often it's down to the hamstrings. So not always, but even if you can touch the toes, that might be too much on the back. So just in. Circle the other way. And one. 
and then take a really deep bend, wide feet, and then just come down. So you might not get fingertips, uh, you might not get palms down, but fingertips hopefully if the knees are bent enough. And all you're doing is letting the head go, and you're just gonna try and straighten. Don't force it though. So if the legs don't completely straighten, that's fine, but we're just bending, straightening. So you're kind of taking the knees in line with the elbows, I guess. And again. So push them out away, engage your muscles and then round the shoulders a little bit and go into your cow to a cat. You might just want to do, if the back's tender, sometimes it's nice just to do a couple of little pelvic tilts so you're just tucking the bum and sticking it up if it feels too much and then go into the cow to cat if it feels comfortable. a nice back stretch so just take the knees apart and just go into your wide position child pose but try and have a little movement so just side to side Then 
bend the knees, walk the hands back to the feet and gently, I'm not going to come gently because I think my top's somewhere around my hands. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know, I just threw this on this morning, it's not really a gym top. Okay guys, uh, let's just take that, so just see how you feel Deb, you might just want to today hold your big toe down and not put too much pressure on the leg. Oh, you can take that foot into the lower calf. Try not to have your foot ever resting on the actual inside of the kneecap. So either lower inner calf or up. And then we're just going to take that gain. So just really good for kind of bone strengthening. Drawing the tummy in. Just holding. Deep breaths. Well done. Take that foot over. Reach the same hand up nice and high. Grab hold of the wrist. Give you the wrist a little bit of a pull. Keep your bicep in line with your ear and just push the hips out. Take a look in your neck through the nose. Out through the mouth. Deep. Out. Last one. Gently back, just take two big circles. In fact, two more because I'm clicking like mad. <laughs> yeah, that felt better. And then bend that front knee, chin to chest, bring your hips back, and again take the weight forwards. Again, just letting the bones in the bum reach up to the seam again. Don't overstretch. I was just chatting to a guy this day about this earlier. You've got any kind of like impingement, you don't want to exacerbate it by kind of sending pain. So just release the stretch to a mild discomfort. Take a nice inhale through the nose. Out through the mouth. Deep through the nose. Out through the mouth. Last one, really bend that front knee, take an inhale, and very slowly, just come back up to standing. I like butt cheek this time, don't you? <laughs> and let's come to the other side. So again, up. Again, if this feels too much, sometimes if people have a hip problem, this one's too much, just take the leg into the foot into the lower leg and again just find your focus drawing the tummy in spreading the toes pushing the foot firmly into the mat and maybe engaging your quads a little bit so hold take an inhale out breath in Myself. You know, in my head, I thought, oh, oh balance feels like a doddle today. <laughs> Something obviously switched off in my brain. And then take it over and again reach up and then just ooh, take it over. Take a breath in. Once your balance goes, that's it. It's not so hard to get it back. And 
gently back and then again bend that front knee, chin to chest, gently back, come down to the floor, again don't force it, letting the head just hang, let your arms become super heavy, and just take a beautiful in breath through the nose, out through the mouth, towards the heels, just rest into that position. Again, try and think about your breath though, so think about just relaxing the tummy and just inhaling, letting the rib cage come up and out. Out, breath, release. Three more. I'm going to say hello and apologise to Pam because hopefully she'll do the video left but and then come down onto the floor and then just don't ever underestimate you know just little windscreen wipes can release a little bit of tension in the lower back just out to the side to side you're washing your windscreen. Oh, you can do it where you take the toes, kind of tuck the toes, and then you just take both heels in one direction, and then back to centre, and then the other. That can 
feel. Quite nice. And again. And again. And then push your pubic bone down into the mat and just see if you can grab that left heel. If you are not, we've just done a, like a quad stretch really. Um, so if you're not feeling much, some people do, you can push your pubic bone a bit further and lift the thigh away. But again, I don't always practice what I preach. Stretches should feel my discomfort not pain. Just hold. And then rest, and then the other side, again, pull the heel in, push the thigh, and I'll lift it, I'll leave it on the mat if that feels too much. If you've got bony hips, this can feel a bit uncomfortable. And well done. And then just come over onto your back, and let's just take our ball, yeah, if you haven't got a ball dips, don't worry, let's do some bridge. So again, I'm just going to show you two kind of versions of bridge. So if the back's absolutely spot on and it's not bothering you today, then do the second one that I'm going to show you. But if your back's really tender, the ball is really, really nice just to kind of do some... So we can all do this together and then I'll take it into normal bridge, but you can remain on the ball if you prefer. So you just rock in. Forward and back. And often our pelvis can be anteriorly or posteriorly tilted through life or even kind of twisted like three to nine on the clock. So now just do come to neutral and just sway the right hip bone and then the left. So you just sway it up and down. You can do this on the mat if you haven't got a ball. But doesn't it feel nice on the ball? And then you can come back to neutral and then literally take the lower back into the mat. So you, if you're on the mat, you would be obviously the back of the in. And then you can just lift the bum up into your bridge position and then lower it all the way down like this. Yes, so go into imprint, push your feet into the mat to activate the pelvic floor and then back down. And again. So listen to what your body needs. If this feels really lovely, you're still getting your mobilisation. You don't feel like you're coming very far when you do bridge like this, but it can feel really comfy. If you want to work harder, take the ball away. Place it between your inner thighs and then just you will be in your bridge position. Shoulder blades down, take a breath in and slowly lower. Really in bridge, try and visualise your vertebrae and the little jelly bits in between. And we're trying to provide some lotion for the discs and then gently up and get deep and we bridge. And then breath in. Slowly more. Push the feet into the mat and we'll activate pelvic floor. Reach the knees and the shins forward. Gently down. And again, if it just feels too much, go back on the ball. hard day what hard week at work Friday's become that <laughs> session where everyone's like oh I'm so tired <laughs> and then two more remember to keep the knees in alignment remember the back needs movement the less we move our back the more the messages get blurred to the brain that we are stiff and pain signals start overtaking the needle hands. 
I've only come up the wrong time. Didn't you see my message? No, no I just saw a kiss up. I didn't see the mine. And then, oh, and then side to side, you can say for bar. <laughs> oh, come in for the last 20 minutes. It's been a really nice, gentle session as well, can't I? Oh, sorry, it's been, I did send you a message, babe, but I had a one to one. I had a one to one at half. Seven to half eight. So as soon as I got your message, I sent a reply. You've obviously not seen it. <laughs> it's just been one of those funny weeks. I thought you'd decided. I thought you thought, you thought. Do you know what? I'm, it's just going to be too much of a rush. Let's not too personal. I'll move a bit. <laughs> Sorry. It's just a zoom on, but it's not your fault. There's <laughs> us. So just and then just take the ball away and then just glue your inner thighs together. Let's take the knees in one direction and the head to the other. Oh, it was funny. Nobody was crying. And practice that. <laughs> Let me just move that roller around so you're not dead. What they don't see me. Sorry. Oh, sorry. It's all right. Don't worry. She looks fine. Didn't realise it was. <laughs> and then fun. just. In the knees over, just inhaling, let the belly rise up to the ceiling. Big, big belly breath. Out breath, draw the belly back in, back to centre. Let's go the other direction. And again, this is when you usually can have an indication that you're a little bit more inflamed around that SI joint. Dope. So just see how it feels. Inhale, let the belly rise. Out breath, draw the belly in, back to centre. Let's go in the other direction again. Inhaling, let the belly rise. Out breath, back to centre. The other side. Inhale, let the belly rise. And then back to centre. And then a variation of that back stretch is just to cross your knee over the other knee. So really kind of like, you know, Kenny Everett style. Ah, <laughs> Kenny Everett. And then just take the foot to the floor as you turn again the head the other way. And try and just rest into it. So try and relax the shoulder blades down. Inhaling, letting the belly rise again. And again. Last one. Back to centre. And then switch. You just missed bridge anyway, you big luck about that pan. <laughs> and then and then the other way. We're doing a really nice kind of stretch back today. And then again, inhaling, letting the belly rise. And just hug those knees into chest. And we'll do a little bit of just low level, but some really um, kind of focused core work. So important if the back's not good that you strengthen the core. So with bridge, we've done our bridge, guys, where our feet's a little bit closer to our bottom shins underneath the knees. Now we're just going to move the feet slightly away. So you should be, I've got a very bad top on this morning, but you should feel that tiny gap underneath the lumbar spine and make sure the rib cage is nice and close together. So we're just going to give our um, self pelvic imprint release, just to make sure, really important when you do chest lift, that you are in neutral spine. So if you could draw a line from your pubic bone to your belly button and then a line from your hip bones, then it should be all nice and flat and neutral. So bring your hands, interlink your fingers, thumbs into the nape of the neck. Make sure that your elbows are nice and wide. 
Push your ribs in and down. Draw the navel away from your hot leggings or shorts. And then lift up into our chest lift. Hold for a few seconds. Lift a bit higher than you kind of feel like you want to. You should almost have a shake on. And then come down halfway. And again, out breath up. Inhale lower. And then again. Inhale lower. Really concentrate on keeping it neutral. Imagine there was somebody underneath us. And if they're looking at your back, they will see your rib cage on the mat and that little tiny gap underneath the lower back. And again, out breath. In breath, halfway. Eight more. And again. Done. Just come back to centre, keep your arms where they are, and then just again, just take knees together, have a little supine spine, drop your knees in one direction and then to the other. Good, and then we're going to do exactly the same move, but we're going to do it with a straight leg. So straighten your legs, so APPI, the Australian Pilates Physio Institute, always teach chest lift straight. Um, I don't mind either to be fair, but some people find that they can find a connection more with a straight or a bent leg. So again, the bum's on the floor, you've got that little gap underneath the lower back, you're drawing the navel in, your rib cage is down, and then lift. Lower halfway, if you come all the way down, there's more of a tendency for the rib cage to come up and out. Out breath up. In breath low. If you feel like the elbows are creeping in, just open up the chest a bit more. And lower. Make sure you've got a nice ch retracted chin, guys. So when you come up, there's a tendency for people to fold head. So try and just protect your head and neck with your hands. And everything should feel really nice and tight. Eight more. Say, I'll click it today. Mm -hmm. That's me. But 
Okay. Uh, beautiful. Well done. And then just again, just do a couple of supine spine knees and we'll sit on our bottom. So just come over to sit on your bums. And let's do, we'll do that bit of limb stuff as well. Today, Debs. So, if it feels comfy sat like this, sit, sit like this. If you prefer to sit into a shoe box, they're both very good. It doesn't really matter for this exercise, to be fair. It's just whatever feels comfortable. But it's just that the season of, I can't believe how many people have run saying that they've got cold and flu this week. So it's kind of that funny season um, from summer to kind of autumn. So we're just going to close our eyes. You might want to open and see what I'm doing first, but <laughs> hopefully my cues will be okay. So you can, there's two ways of thinking about this. You can think about drawing the navel in just to keep your back upright and think more about core posture and muscles. Or you can think just very much about your breath and let the belly kind of go when you do an inhale. But we're basically working the lymphatic system. So we bring our elbows into our waist and then we reach up as we inhale with one, back down. Exhale the other side. Or you can breathe in and out through your nose. Whichever breath you feel most comfortable, nasal breathing is very good. And So play about with your belly button, you know, try and hold for a little bit and keep the postural muscles going, and then let the belly go. Which is better for the limb system, to be fair. So don't always think about core when you're doing abdominal work, core's important, but breath work, it's nice to breathe into that belly. And off the hell elbow and then just bring it behind the back. Pull the shoulder blades together and then just take a little neck stretch. Beautiful. Back to centre. Let's go the other way. Angela's usually on 
Angela. Yeah, of course you do. Angela, she's always on. She said I'll see you tomorrow, but she moved, didn't she? Yeah, she moved from Shadwell to Oldham. <laughs> but yeah, she lived in that gorgeous Rose like old terrace with a most amazing, incredible garden. But she's I don't know what Angela's but she's not your and your husband's ninety odd, so we paid right. too much, wasn't it? So we moved to a lovely flat in Oldham. Wow. Mm -hmm. But a garden was oh god, it was amazing. Hi Angela, if you're watching the kitchen. <laughs> <coughs> and then the end, hand off the elbow and then just bring it round and take it over. And we're going to do one more Debs, which I think will be good for you. And then I'm going to probably take it into a plank inversion downward dog. So feel free to leave after this next one. You can do it with us open and do it with the chair as well. And so just rock side to side, just like that. And again, even when you do this, sometimes if you kind of try and move your rib cage side to side, which is really, really a really beneficial move, but you might feel, oh, when I go to the left, Feels tight when it goes to the right. And then we're going to come and we're going to bring the navel in and then lift up nice. So nice straight spine, hips in one direction, round and then up. And again. Alternate, then that's fine. But if you're doing the same, three more. And then the other way, round the spine, restart. Well done, and then 
take the hips up super high, walk the hands back a little bit further, take the right heel towards the floor, feel that stretch. And maybe just soften that knee a little bit and then straighten the leg a bit. So soften that knee of the leg that's on the floor, you know, the foot, sorry. And then in, just so it gets a little bit further down into the soleus muscle as well as the gastro. And then take that foot up, bring the other foot down, hold the stretch, and then just soften the knee a little bit. And then straighten it. Soften and straighten. Soften and straighten. And then take both heels away and just gently, gently bend the knees. Bring your hands back to your feet. And gently up. Oh, Deb's did well. She managed the whole class. I knew she would do fine. <laughs> and thank you all. Oh, so